Pokemon Gold and Silver. There's a lot I love about these two little games. The storyline, the multiple regions you can travel to, and the ability to refight old trainers. However, there are some things I'm not too fond of. One of them being the starter Pokemon available to you. I've never really been a fan of Chikorita. I just could never get into her design or her evolutionary line. Recently, I made a tweet about how you can make a game hack to change the starter Pokemon. Today, I'm going to show you how to do that step by step. Let's get into it. The first thing you'll need is access to the Pokemon Gold source code, which is made available on GitHub from the Pokemon Reverse Engineering team. Here's their GitHub page, and we can scroll down to the bottom. There's a readme file, which includes a install script. Click on that. It includes all the instructions you'll need in order to build the ROM, which is what we need in order to actually play the game. We see that they have instructions for Windows 10, older versions of Windows, Mac OS, and the different distributions of Linux. In order to actually play the game, we'll need an emulator. The best in the business is the Sameboy emulator that comes with a built-in debugger. Downloading it is as simple as clicking this button here. We'll also need some type of text editor. I'm on Windows and I prefer Visual Studio Code. It's completely free and has extensive support. However, you can use any text editor that you are comfortable with. This last one is optional. We'll be working with Game Boy Assembly, so it's nice to have some type of guide or documentation pulled up. I like this site from Eldred.fr that has a very extensive Game Boy Assembly tutorial complete with what the registers are in Assembly Basics. All right, now that we have all our tools installed, how do we go about actually finding what code we need to edit? Well, GitHub has an amazing feature, a search bar in the top left corner. You can click on it and type in anything you're looking for within the current repository. So I'm gonna guess we're looking for the starter Pokemon. So maybe this is a good keyword. Click in this repository and it pulls up two results elmslab.asm and oam.asm. The, the latter seems to be some sprite animations, while the former is the Pokemon Lab. That's where you get your starter Pokemon in Pokemon Gold and Silver, so I'm assuming that's what we want to work with. If we scroll down in this file, we see a few labels for Cyndaquil Pokeball script, and then a bunch of code, one for Totodile, and another one for Chikorita. As I said earlier, I want to edit Chikorita out of the game, but before I do that, let me explain the code. The first few lines check if we have already received a starter Pokemon from Professor Elm. If this is true, then we do not get to choose another one. Pokemon only lets you have one starter Pokemon. The next few lines display the picture of the starter and plays their unique Pokemon cry. The picture stays up until we press a button. Afterwards, we are asked if we want to choose Chikorita as a starter. If we select no, Elm will read the choose starter text script. However, if we select yes, the Pokeball disappears and we are asked if we want to choose a nickname for Chikorita. You can also see the item Chikorita will be holding. In this case, all the starters will have a berry. Once that is done, the player walks over to Professor Elm and the game continues as normal. So, being programmers, how can we edit this? If we want to patch a different Pokemon into the game, all we need to do is change all these instances where it says Chikorita with the name of a different Pokemon. All right, I have my Visual Studio Code text editor pulled up and I have the file Pokemon Constants. You can see that tab listed here. And this denotes all the Pokemon in the game. You can see number one is Bulbasaur, number two is Ivysaur, Computers like working with numbers. It's easier for them to reason about and understand. Whereas humans, we like words, we like names, and we like labels. So instead of using the hard-coded number, we can just use the name of the Pokemon. These are written in hexadecimal. As you can see, there's 3A and 4D and so on and so forth. This goes on and on and on for all the Pokemon in the game. Similarly, all the items are also defined with a label and a number. So I'm going to change the item that the Pokemon will get. 
As you can see, I've edited all the instances of Chikorita and swapped it out with Bulbasaur. We'll need to do the same thing for the take Chikorita text label and change that to Bulbasaur. And let's be a little funny here. Instead of saying, so you would like Bulbasaur, the grass Pokemon, let's call it as it truly is. Bulbasaur, the based grass Pokemon. Change any other constants that have Chikorita. Next, I clicked on the search icon in Visual Studio Code, and we see that there's multiple files that have event got Chikorita from Elm. This is just a check that the game uses to see what starter Pokemon you have. So this constant, this label, it is a check that the game uses to determine what starter Pokemon you received. Because your rival will encounter you throughout the game, and they will battle you, and they choose whatever Pokemon is strong against yours. So they have a bit of an advantage. But since we do not have Chikorita, we have Bulbasaur, I want to replace. And you can do that easily in Visual Studio Code. Click this button here, and confirm that we want to replace everything. We successfully replaced nine occurrences across nine files. We should be all good to go. Next up, open your terminal. We want the Windows subsystem for Linux shell. And we're right in our Pokemon Gold file. I have that saved on my desktop in LS, see all the files. Now that everything's in place, run the make command in order to build the updated ROM. This will take a while, so grab some coffee and sit back and relax. Okay, once the code is finished assembling, open up the GPC file and drag it into the same boy emulator. Full screen it. Boot up the game, we're back in Professor Elm's lab. We see the first Pokemon is still Cyndaquil. We see the second one is Totodile. And the third one is Bulbasaur. It's no longer Chikorita. Bulbasaur, the based grass Pokemon, hit yes. No nickname. Let's check out our new Pokemon. It's a grass and poison type, level five. We see it's holding the Pokedoll item and it knows tackle and growl. So it's not just a display change, it is the actual Pokemon Bulbasaur. You can see it's number 001, which corresponds to its entry in the Pokemon Constants file. There you have it, guys. Take it easy and see you in the next video.